So the former Olympic silver medalist and the two-time world boxing champion Amir Khan has just come out with this. Excuses and poor diet hold Asian athletes back, claims boxer Amir Khan. Wow, okay. Amir Khan has accused young Asian sportsmen and women of allowing excuses and a poor diet to stop them fulfilling their potential. The 35-year-old former world champion boxer picked out Asian footballers in particular for supposedly lacking dedication and allowing racism to undermine their development. Okay, wow. So I don't always agree with Amir Khan, but if there is any person who is qualified to comment on this issue, it is him. When he uses the word Asian, he's talking about people from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. Uh, he's talking about the Asians in the UK. Speaking on Monday during a farewell press conference, having announced his retirement from boxing last week, Khan was asked if he was proud of his legacy. He turned professional in 2005, having won an Olympic silver medal in the previous year at the age of 17, at a time when there were few high-profile boxers of South Asian heritage in Britain. That is true. That was an amazing achievement, okay, when he won uh, the Olympic silver medal just at the age of 17. Situation is very different now and many talented Asian boxers cite Khan as their inspiration. That is true. I am seeing this a lot now. A lot of very talented up-and-coming Asian fighters doing really well and view Amir Khan as their role model. Uh, and that is a great thing. It's an amazing platform for them to see what I've done and that it's possible for them to do the same and achieve what I've achieved. People used to say, we are Muslim, we are Asian, we can't make it in boxing. We're not going to be picked. It's an excuse that all Asians use that we're never going to be picked. Okay, so he's saying that there aren't many Asians in sports. It's big down to uh, the Asian community, the mentality that we have. Oh, always blaming others and just being negative. Oh, we're not going to make it. We're not going to be picked. Look at football, for example. There are no Asian footballers, but guess what? They all say we won't get picked because we're Asian. I think that's a fucking load of bullshit, really. It's a load of bollocks. Wow. Asians, when we can't, to a certain extent, give up. We don't have it in us. Wow. Okay, so he's really coming down hard on the Asian community here. We just give up too soon. We don't try. Hmm. Look, as Asians, we're not really meant to be fighters. We're not supposed to be good sportsmen and women. Our diet is appalling. It's curries is not the right diet to be a champion. If you put us against a lot of English fighters, their diet is a lot better. They're stronger than us. But obviously, I changed my way of living. Luckily, I started very young. But not many Asians become sportsmen and women because we don't have the diet. We don't have the dedication. Again, those two things. Not having the diet, eating curries, not good for your health, especially not good for your fitness. Dedication, not being you know willing, not being... Uh, willing to put in the hard work and uh, sacrifice to make it in sport. But if we see someone doing it, like if they've seen me do it, maybe that can inspire and motivate them. If Ahmed Khan has done it, being Asian and living on chapatis all his life and eating curries, we can do it. But you, <laughs> but you still have to take it easy on those things. Again, you know, he's, he's, he's having a real go at <laughs> Uh, us eating you know, the Asian community, you know, eating chapatis and curries, and you know this. If you if you follow this sort of diet, then you you can't make it. So once again, he's using excuses and a poor diet uh, as reasons why uh, Asians are not making it in high level sport. I mean, I do. I have often wondered. I'm really happy that he's mentioned football because I just don't understand. You know, Asians love football like everyone else, yet. Yeah. There is no Asian player in the Premiership, okay? An Asian player has never represented England. Uh, there's so many black players that represent England, which is great. In the Premiership, you have people from all over the world. You've got Muslims in there. People like Mo Salah, Arabs. Uh, you even have people from other Asian countries like South Korea, you know, making it, playing sport at the, playing football at the highest level. But where are the Asians? Not one, not one. Is it because of these things? Is it because of um, excuses and a poor diet? Or uh, are there other factors involved? Let me know. Drop your comments. And, you know, what do you guys think? Thank you.